Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. It's nice to have a Comic Con under your belt. Yeah. Did you first one? No. This is our second, second San Diego, like fourth overall, though, right? Yeah, we did New York. We've done New York a couple times. Remember our first one? Yeah, yeah. Please okay. love us. Like, the show hadn't even aired yet, so it was basically like a casting announcement. And now look at how many people are in there. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna jump into it, I guess. You guys kind of have the best costumes in the whole show. You guys kind of do. Kind of do. <laughs> so what are you hoping to see for you guys, like, your characters get to dress this season? Eye patch, stuff, like... Well, we were just talking about that. I mean, the eye patches really are a work of art, and I didn't expect anything less with our costume designer, Mogli. She's such a genius. I knew she would take the eye patch concept and run with it, but also, Hale mentioned, uh, we're, we're setting out to see, so we're, it, there's going to be some interesting influences. Nautical influences, uh, uh, well, it's like Admiral, Captain Elliot vibes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and I think Margo plays a little more with um, like gender, I think, a little more this year. Yeah. She has a little more experiments. We maybe. both get to blur those lines yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the, the fun of it. And, uh, the beauty of characters on a fantasy TV show that get to, um, you know, explore outside of the the normal, boring, hetero, everything else. You know. So I guess you guys have been back for, what, a week or so is what they said. What feeling are you getting for this next season, like where your characters are going? I mean, everybody's been asking us that, but we just haven't read far enough along. The things that I keep saying that I'm excited about are playing with Candace Kane and, and again, Hale, and, um, I mean, we're just sort of dealing with, you know, bigger things than just our basic relationship problems, because we're under occupation, so. Right, right. There's a bigger threat. Uh, we're ruling our kingdom, and we're simultaneously being ruled, so that's kind of the first step is how to navigate that. Um, and I think overall this season, um, there's kind of a unity to the to the overall arc of the season for all of the characters in that we're united in in one big common intention, big quest. Uh, and, and I think that that will really uh, ground the show in, in and of itself, and all of the various storylines are all working towards the same goal, which I think is really exciting and uh, gives the show a new kind of balance that I think will serve it really well. As the stakes get progressively higher, uh, is it difficult so far for your characters to maintain their biting wit and sarcasm? No. Oh, no. <laughs> it almost gets more intense. They get, like, funnier, I think. We just did a scene that it has got to be, I think, the funniest scene we've ever had together. Right. Yes. So we hope we honored it Full of good because it was amazing. It's very, yeah. There's a self-awareness, I think, to their humor and to um, the writing. Uh, I have this nagging feeling that Elliot's starting to like wonder if he's on a TV show. Or something. Like yeah. there's such a like m there's such a meta aspect to the magicians as books and, and the magicians also as a as a television show. And I think that that self awareness sometimes bleeds through um, into interpersonal moments as well. Sarah Gamble teased a line that maybe you say that suggests this. That Sarah Gamble teased a line what did about she say? about it taking a season oh yeah yes. <laughs> right 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 yes I think that's me that's someone in conversation with me about I'm like I don't have time for a fucking quest right now come on I can't do that I'll fail at that don't do that how long will it take I have bigger fish to fry you know and he's like it takes about a season <laughs> eight episodes <laughs> Elliot interacts with a questing creature and that person will be revealed uh, I'm sure that's a, that's a big one that they don't want to spoil quite yet because the, the designs for him are hard. So your relationship has taken a bit of a hit. Um, and, you know, at the end of the season two, we can definitely see you kind of coming back together, recognizing that eventually you'll get back there. What are you hoping to see for your characters um, kind of, you know, preparing this Ultra for relationship. Um, healthier bond. Um, I think they'll always be bonded. That's just my feeling. 
Also, when I read the books, I felt like they got their happy ending together in Philly. I don't know, kind of the vibes that I got. Yeah. I agree. No, I think that they will always find each other. I don't think that there's anything that could separate them past the point of repair. Um, they have some serious conversations to have as, as to their relationship at this point, but there's um, kind of a higher stakes uh, issue at hand, which is fairy occupation needing to restore magic. So they're kind of... It's not time to like have a heart-to-heart at the moment. But I, I hope that does happen. I think that would be beautiful. I think we've always wanted that, too. We really want like a about scene Elliot. about Elliot and Margot talking <laughs> about their relationship. We really, really we want do. that. We We need that. Um, we really need that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there any other things that you can tease in the first episode, I guess, that aren't about your awesome relationship with each other? Oh. There's some magical creatures that we uh, have to have to put into a sequence. There's some womb magic. Womb magic. Womb magic. Womb magic. 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 Remember that. You'll know what it okay. means. Right? I don't... Yeah. Womb magic. Womb magic. Womb magic. That's going to be a hashtag for sure. Hashtag womb magic. <laughs> hashtag. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.